Okay, I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour. Right here on Luminati Radio, I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop some breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Uh, I would like to thank you, Brother Cordell Diggs, for sending me the donation for this video. Uh, if any of you all have any special request videos that you want me to do, or celebrity you want me to expose and do a video on, or social media like this where you want me to expose and do a video on, or if you have a particular topic on some knowledge you want me to drop, well, um, it's a small donation of $5. Donation link in the description box below. All right. Um, Bobby Brown, he came up from... Uh, the song from, from New Edition, he broke off from New Edition to go to do a solo act. He did went solo. He became a big time star being a solo act. Not only that, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, part of that breaking off from New Edition, part of that, when, when he broke off from New Edition, he owed it, the elites, a sacrifice for breaking off because once he broke off he became an even bigger star yes he was a star with new edition but he became an even bigger star when he broke off from new edition I'm gonna give you an example you have R. Kelly R. Kelly was a star with public announcement but that first album he was a star with public announcement but he became a bigger star after public announcement, after he went and did his solo act, and he talks about his mother, Sadie, that's R. Kelly. Now, we're not on R. Kelly, we're on Bobby Brown. I'm just giving you an example. So when Bobby Brown broke off from New Edition and he, he went solo, he was the biggest thing smoking since Swiss cheese. Because the movie, um, <clears throat> the movie Ghostbusters, too hot to handle, too whole for cold. They call them both Ghostbusters and the in control. Ghostbusters, that movie was a big box office hit. And Bobby Brown was on the soundtrack. That comes with a blood sacrifice. He might have not needed a blood sacrifice right then and there. But at the proper time, when Bobby Christina reached the tender age of 21, she couldn't even finish her 21st birthday before Bobby Brown had already scheduled for her to die. She had already became a blood sacrifice, but she didn't even know it. And then everybody want to blame it on Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon ain't got nothing to do with it. Nick Gordon is just, you know what I'm saying, somebody that the elites use and Bobby Brown used as a fall guy. I'm going to give you an example. You have um, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson killed a whole family. And who does she use as a, um, uh, as a fall guy? Her brother-in-law. Jennifer Hudson's brother-in-law is in prison right here, right now, to this day, for a crime that he didn't commit. I want to see, you know what I'm saying, um, I want to see, uh, Kim Kardashian and the Innocence Project, Project investigate, uh, Jennifer Hudson's brother-in-law. I want to see Jennifer Hudson's brother-in-law freed. Because that right there is truly an innocent man. So you want to say people who are innocent, you know what I'm saying, and locked up falsely. Jennifer Hudson's brother-in-law. He's, he's in jail right now for a crime that he did not commit. You know what I'm saying? So he's a fall guy. Nick Gordon is the fall guy for, you know what I'm saying, Bobby Christina. You know what I'm saying? When you die... And you having to do with a tub. A tub represents water. That represents baptism. You know what I'm saying? That represents baptism. Water represents freedom. That was freedom for um, Bobby Brown. 
Look, Bobby Brown is still doing his thing without a care in the world. He's free to travel. He do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? He had the, you know what I'm saying? He had a, 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 um, a best-selling book. He dropped a book. That was a best-seller on the, you know what I'm saying, on the New York Times bestseller list. You know what I'm saying? All of that comes by him sacrificing Bobby Christina. You know what I'm saying? Bobby Bobby Brown is responsible for that. I remember, um, Bob, was it Bobby Brown? No, it wasn't Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown's brother. I remember Bobby Brown's brother was promoting his album. And he went on a star report show to speak well, he told Star that he wanted to speak about Bobby Christina, but then when he got on the show, he started, he's talking about promoting his album. Star said, listen, when you came to me and you wanted to do an interview with me, you said we were going to talk about Bobby Christina. Now you don't want to talk about Bobby Christina? Now you want to promote your album? Get off of my show. All of Oh, the whole Bobby Brown family is nothing but a bunch of greedy, good-for-nothing, you know what I'm saying, soul-stealing, you know what I'm saying, idiots. That's all they are. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, to answer your question, Brother Cordell Diggs, yes, Bobby Brown have everything to do with killing his own daughter. But, you know what I'm saying, he done, or he done already planned to do this way before... He done already planned to do this way before he even had a baby. Oh, let me back that up a little bit, people. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Before he even had Bobby Christina, he already told the elites the, that he was going to sacrifice this child. That's how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'm going to give another example. It's the same way 50 Cent. The reason why 50 Cent is where he's at today, because if you look at that Wangster video, that 50 Cent Wangster video, where he had his son in the picture, in the video, at the end of that Wangster video, because he promised his son to the elites. And that's why his son, him and his son don't get along, and that's why him and his baby's mama don't get along, because his, son, his baby mama pulled his son from him. And that's why. Because he promised his son to the elites. That's, that's deep. But anyway, I hope that answers your question, Brother Cordell Diggs. Thanks for the donation for this video. Um, if you guys out there have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to look into and expose, or a YouTuber or a social media personality you want me to look into and expose, or if you have a particular topic that you want me to expound on and, and, and give do a video on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.